Hey everybody, peace and blessings. So basically, um, it's your girl, Shantae Tay Queen Fernandes of Gemini Creations. And I'm just, I don't know, I feel like making this video. Um, I just had a very, very vivid experience. Um, so I've been doing a lot of healing for those who know me and been following me. Um, I've actually been posting my results or posting some of, um, the activities that I've been doing and that I've been engaging in. Um, so right now I'm in the middle of a seven day chakra alignment. Um, I'm actually in the process also of recording how I'm doing all of that so that everybody else can actually get in on it too, possibly at some time in the future. Um, so I'm in the middle of aligning my chakras. I'm on day three. Well, I'm actually on, I'm on day four now. So I'm on day four and um, that denotes the fourth chakra and that's my heart chakra. So yesterday I worked on my solar plexus, the day before that I worked on sacral and before that I worked on root chakra. And if you know anything about that, now um, this is the fourth day so this is me coming into the emotional body um, and also coming into the medium the, or the um, meridian between the bridge actually between the higher and the lower self so um that's what the heart chakra is it's the entry play um so when you get to the heart chakra it becomes a whole kind of different game so so far what i've experienced is like things like lightness like um clearing inner you know lower negativities um i've envisioned and saw the different chakras and the way that they were spinning wrong and saw the extra you know kind of build up and emotions that were attached to them and what's been the result of that is i feel very grounded which is rare for me because especially when i do spirit work um as like an air sign without a lot of earth in my chart it can get a little like loopy sometimes especially concentrating on the higher chakra so it was really refreshing i actually use a lot of um grounding crystals and that's actually what i'm going to talk to you guys about too um, throughout the, the duration of this actual video is um, how to use these um, stones to be able to open up different spiritual realms going to the astral realm with the stones of course um, I'm also an herbalist so I use herbs as well um, I've also you know trained myself to know how to cleanse and purify my body so that my body is more receptive to receiving these things and retaining this type of information I always tell people that like you could be spiritual without being nutritionally conscious you know or eating a certain way but what ha happens is um, basically it's like putting a you know 70 volt charge through a 30 30 watt light bulb like it's not gonna work out that great you know what i mean um in the long term you're gonna have like um miscommunications in the spirit realm the spirits that you may be communicating may be lower frequency spirits you know different things like that or lower frequency entities and different things of that nature so it's really important like kind of to as it to take the shamanic approach shamans normally cleanse um fast um and not just for the physical healing benefits but also for the spiritual um awakening properties that those particular things to note and the actual spiritual benefits of purifying the body through different means um and it's also a, a means of preparation so when you go into the spirit realm you're not encountering all kinds of shadow beings and things are trying to deceive you and all other kind of crap so anyway so the crystal aspect of what i'm dealing with i actually want to show you guys um i don't know if you can see it this is my black tourmaline um i created this black tourmaline myself um and i chose it because it spoke to me like i do with all my amulets and things of that nature i take and i choose what speaks to me um even when i create custom pieces for other people i take and i choose what resonates with me specifically at that particular time um so this is a black tourmaline pendant and what i utilize this black tourmaline pendant for is mo mainly protection but um something told me last night to keep it on normally i take all of my charms and all of my pendants and all of my um my particular tools off when i go to sleep 
But what specifically resonated for me last night was I did finally dream. I did finally get some, um, I've been dreaming, but my dreams hadn't been retained. Um, and I've also been utilizing a spiritual smoke with chickweed, rosemary, and mullein, which are spiritual herbs that help to open you up to visions, dreaming, um, also emotional healing and different things of that nature. Um, so I've been um, utilizing that spiritual smoke as well. And while utilizing that spiritual smoke as well as this particular um, pendant, um, it kind of catalyzed everything and really put things um, into the way that it needs to go. Using the spiritual smoke alone obviously wasn't enough. So um, I think what happened with the tourmaline is it kept me grounded enough in the dream reality to actually remember. And I think that was on purpose because I need to do some emotional healing. And I think what was happening was my ego was like, I don't want to deal with this emotion right now. It's a very fresh wound. Um, so every time you dream, you're not going to retain the dream. But the reason why I need to retain the dream is because I need to know what emotions are blocked. I'm doing something like um, I need to know what emotions are blocked and then I also need to know how to be able to cleanse and remove and heal those emotions. Um, we're coming up on the full moon. So the full moon is a time traditionally of release. Um, this full moon is a very big full moon coming up. I think it's a full moon in Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. Don't put me on that, I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> but I do believe it's a full moon in Aquarius, um, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a time for release and healing. And I just want people to understand that your dreams are there for a reason. They're another tool that you can use to cleanse and heal from a lot of emotions and a lot of different, you know, negative energies or things that are weighing you down. Especially while you're fasting, is an imperative time to do so. So I used my black tourmaline pendant, as I showed you guys earlier, um, to be able to just ground me throughout that experience. Black tourmaline is a very shamanic um, stone. It's traditionally used a lot for scrying, for which is telling the truth, telling the future, or seeing glimpses of the future um, while holding the stone or scratching the stone. Um, it's used a lot for protective purposes. It helps to mitigate a lot of even electronic extra low frequencies and radiation frequencies which if you know anything about that that can actually stump stop you from going into the spirit world and connecting with your full capacity as a spiritual being because they literally put these cell phone towers and these um, radiated even the cell phone that I'm holding right now is radiation you know what I mean everything is radiation and that shit can not only uh, you know cause mutation in your cells but it also disrupts the natural light frequencies of your auric field. So it's important that you use crystals, diodes, uh, magnets, different things. I use hematite as well a lot. Um, hematite also clears and grounds and connects and aligns the chakras. I've also been working a lot with black obsidian. Um, and that's a very strong purificational um, stone, another shamanic stone as well. But it seems like this black tourmaline, and this black tourmaline spoke to me, and it told me that it wanted to work with me um, when I was um, actually creating some pendants. And it didn't want to leave. It didn't want to go to one of the, I had picked it actually originally for one of my other clients. And it's like, it spoke to me and told me that it didn't want to leave. It wanted to stay with me because it had work to do with me. So... You know, stuff like that you got to pay attention to as well. Um, yeah, so basically, if you're utilizing crystal therapy at this time, um, or if you're using any type of herbal therapies, um, just accent it with some crystal therapy. And this is a great time for transformation. It's also a great time to go into your subconscious mind because in the full moon and the moon in and of itself and its different cycles actually represents the different aspects of the divine feminine as well as the subconscious mind. So, you know, going into your emotions, the feminine capacity of yourself and the subconscious emotions, which is, you know, that's all dealing with the lunar cycles and how things kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, pan out that way. So, um, it's just a great time to really use your dreams um, to kind of journey into that realm of yourself and uncover the hidden aspects of yourself. Because I was, I, in my dream, I actually 
revealed it revealed to me some levels of anger that I've been holding on to, which isn't a surprise for me, because um. I'm, I'm a more aggressive kind of energy. I'm kind of like, I always call myself a spiritual warrior because I'm very spiritual and very um, healing in one capacity, but I'm also the other polarity, which is very warlike and aggressive and all those aspects. So um, I have to be careful because I have to realize when, when the balance is and I have to be careful of like actually um, taking on the physical manifestations of my anger and my emotions as I'm a very emotional being and it's, it's, it's rare for our air sign to be that emotional but I am filled with water and fire so I'm extremely emotional I'm like hot steam like all the time <laughs> um so that's just really what I've been um, doing and utilizing and that's something that I learned that actually helped me a lot um, I was able to journal because I keep a dream journal as well. This is a really good thing to do. And by the way, please write all your stuff down. Um, writing is the release aspect. I'm going to actually do some more energy work probably coming up on the full moon around release. Um, because it's going to be a very powerful time. I'm also going to do some stuff around abundance as well. I'm always doing stuff around abundance. But um, you got to clear. In order to receive new things, you have to clear away the old things. So it's really important that you take that time, especially on this full moon coming up, to really kind of reflect on the things that you want to get rid of. And if, you know, if you're so inclined and you're the type of person who is somebody who possibly is like very much into the spirit realm and you would like to release, let's say any anger, because for me it's been very personal because I don't really um, connect to the collective consciousness because just for the fact that y'all be on some bull, like humans be on some bull. Like, everybody who knows me knows I feel how the way I feel about humans. Y'all out there, you know, dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, just distracting aspects. Um, not that it's not valid or real issues. I understand the reality of the situation, but simultaneously as a spirit being, I live in two realms simultaneously. And I'm very sensitive, so I'm very mindful of the impact of... Um, the impact of of the world and and you guys is emotions and so if i tap into that energy it completely kind of drains me a lot so i choose kind of to uh stay clear of that so for me i'm clearing a lot of personal issues and personal growth but some of you may need to clear some of that collected emotional consciousness oh yeah you guys can ask questions if you want below i mean i guess since we're alive right i'm just used to talking to myself sorry i'm an only child <laughs> but yeah so i do see a question it says does being an um, uh, emotional does being emotional weigh you down yes it does <laughs> sometimes it does um it's it's good on one end and it's bad on the other the great thing about being emotional is i'm very powerful um the more emotional you are the more powerful you are in the spirit realm because you actually have the ability to access emotions emotions is just energy in motion so it's the moving it's the physical feeling or the physical effect of you feeling energy shift so because i'm so spiritually sensitive and what you call an empath I can feel my energy shift and I can feel the energy shift in other people very easily. Now the thing that happens that can start to weigh you down is when you're not clearing, cleansing, and grounding. Um, if you're not clearing, cleansing, shielding, and grounding, then you're going to start to notice that there's a lot of energy that becomes built up on what's called your auric field or your um, white body. And then when that actually happens, it can actually... Um, you know manifest down into the different layers of your aura or your emotional body and it can actually begin to manifest as physical illnesses or it can even go into your conscious mind and create mental illnesses just depending on what type of emotion it is also remember your body stores energy so um, each of your cells store energy and they actually have a housing unit called the mitochondria that actually stores the energy directly the mitochondria is actually also inherited from the matrilineal line so that's like it's a maternally based energy unit <clears throat> that houses a lot of genetic information from your uh, matrilineal line um 
so of course that's that's kind of something key to kind of think, keep in your mind especially anybody who's doing womb healing or womb cleansing or just anything you know especially like the sacral chakra in that area that's a very feminine area or you're dealing with any feminine chakras um yeah so anyway yeah so sometimes it does weigh you down but it's also you know a very key component and an aspect a high aspect of your spirituality so so how you choose to use the energy you could transmute that energy and then be able to utilize it for whatever you want to utilize for i don't like to say negative and positive too much because that's just polarity that's just gender that's just this particular realm um so when i say transmute i don't always mean transmute negative into positive sometimes i mean just take the energy that you didn't want in a certain area and move it to an area you do want it to be you know what i mean like or how you, or intentionally utilize it and move it and a lot of that work and that just kind of brings it full circle because that's exactly what i'm talking about transmuting that energy through dreams through visions through um different energy work so the energy work that i've been utilizing is reiki um yoga meditation i actually did some acupuncture yesterday i love acupuncture anybody knows me knows i love acupuncture um and i've been utilizing all those different mediums to actually clear and bring up a lot of the toxins and the emotional clutter from you know just living in this world and also having my own personal uh, struggles and experiences that i've dealt with lately um so i've been utilizing all of those with different activities but those different activities are not enough in the alone in and of themselves once you're in that space those activities bring you to a space where you can then take that energy what's going to do is like it's kind of like herbs and if everybody's ever gone on like a detox or a fast you realize that you know things happen like your breath starts to smell weird and you know like you might start to have body odors and different things like that and that's the toxins coming up to the surface similarly that's what's happening spiritually to you when you start to cleanse your chakras through meditation through reiki through yoga what it does is bring up the old shit to the surface so you can handle it and deal with it um and one of the ways to cope and handle now see the energy work like the particular um like the exercises i mentioned tai chi qigong reiki yoga meditation guided meditation acupuncture all that stuff brings this up to surface now in order to cope with it or deal with it what you must do is journal you must write things down um you must do specific energy work around it and um dreaming and, and also crystals help to kind of do that as well so um dream work um journaling work anytime you are doing release work so anything that helps you to release anything that's cathartic dancing singing poetry expression those are the other ends and the key components to releasing and letting that energy go so um you know just use them both in tangent and in balance so bring up then release bring up then release but also don't just bring up and release bring up and release bring up release restore rejuvenate bring up release restore rejuvenate so give yourself time and increments in between all those things especially if you're not an experienced journeyer or a shaman or a priestess or uh, a metaphysician or a spiritualist or alchemist or whatever you want to call it if you're not experienced in the realm of spirit uh, give yourself some time when you're first starting these things because um, you have a lifetime of energy that you didn't purify or cleanse that you have to deal with so it can become overwhelming in that particular light and you can get tired and fatigued very quickly but somebody who has a little bit more experience um, you can kind of get in there and uh, kind of clear things more uh, quickly and you'll just build your power and you'll see your power expand. You'll feel your aura expand. You'll feel your energy expand as you go throughout these things. So today for me is my fourth chakra. It's my heart chakra. Heart chakra is a very, very important place. Like I was saying earlier, it's the bridge between the lower and the higher self. So this, this day is probably going to be an emotional day for me, um, but I'm welcoming it and I'm actually looking forward to it so i'm gonna actually get started with um doing finishing up my journaling and taking note of the energy and actually further decoding this dream that i got which was emotional release of a lot of anger 
Um, and I look forward to experiencing the full healing of all those different tools. I just wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to just, you know, big up Black Tourmaline. Because Black Tourmaline just got my entire life together. I am so grateful for it. I felt it pulling on my heart chakra ever since last night. Um, I felt it pulling on my heart chakra ever since last night. And just um, having it kind of be there for me and support me through that journey was really amazing. Um, so I definitely recommend that you guys utilize Black Tourmaline as well. Um, you can actually find Black Tourmaline on my website. We're having a sale right now. Um, GeminiCreations.com. It's 50% off. All orders over $15. So go to Gem and I G E M I N E Y E Creations.com, and you'll be able to um, see the different um, crystals that we have there. You know, each crystal is kind of different and utilized in different ways. But I mean, right now, I don't know. I just had to share. Like, and this is like beyond the fact that I even sell crystals. Get you some black tourmaline. Like, if you gotta go to the crystal shop, if you gotta go. If, you know what I mean? Like, whatever you need to do personally to get black tourmaline, get some black tourmaline because this is right here. This black tourmaline right here, son. Now, my black tourmaline, I clear and I, you know, cleanse and do all that work over. So, my black tourmaline comes pre charged. But, man, that energy, though, it was crazy. Like, it completely shifted my entire spiritual journey like just by me wearing it and going into spirit realm at the same time so um i'll take any questions if anybody has any questions any more questions um about anything um you guys can ask those questions below um if not i'm actually gonna be i'm working on a lot of stuff right now i'm gonna give you guys a quick update as well for gemini creations i'm working on a lot of stuff um for my spiritual clients so um, if you guys have done any spiritual work or consultations work with me um, and I've been in spiritual coaching to you in any type of way, um, definitely stay tuned because I am going through spiritual evolution myself and as I evolve so do everybody, so does everybody who I interact with and I work with. So um, definitely stay tuned because I'm going to be coming up with some really great exercises and some really great healing techniques so you guys can start to evolve and transform with me. Um, my theme is definitely transformation. So if you're the type of person who is looking to transform your life in any particular way, whether it's transforming your health, transforming your mind, transforming your emotional wellness, transforming your particular physical um, being, you know, whatever it is, that's who I am. I am the transformation lady. So, um, definitely go check out Gemini Creations. Again, like I said, everything on GeminiCreations.com is half off. It's 50% off. So, all the consultation work that I do, I do um, I Ching readings. I also deal with astrology as well as the crystals and all that amazing stuff. So, point blank and at the end of everything, get you some black tourmaline. Get you some dream tea. Get you some rosemary, get you some mullein, get you some chickweed, get you some whatever you need to do. And uh, get your whole life. <laughs> and uh, release those emotions and release that pain and release that. It's been stressful three months for everybody. We just really hit some deep cosmic shifts in the universe. So we didn't, Not all of us made it out. You see how many people transitioned in this last couple uh, months. So just, you know, be kind to yourself. Um, heal yourself, love yourself, you know, treat yourself, get you some crystal. Um, Terry, no, I have never come to um, Texas, but if you want me to, <laughs> or if you know anybody who does lectures and things like that, I'm more than open to do lectures. I've actually um, been invited to St. Louis a couple times, but um, things didn't all the way work out. I actually just got finished hosting my first local event in Boston. Um, so I do do speaking work um, for anybody who's interested. You guys could inbox me on that. Um, I'm going to also be doing some more uh, live online um, workshops in the future as well. So hopefully you guys can stay tuned for that as well. 
Um, so if you guys have any questions, um, any other last questions before I wrap it up, I'm finna go, finna start my day and get this work done. Um, so if you have any, um, other questions, can ask them down below about the crystals, about anything. Do you have any crystals that you guys want to know about specifically? I'll definitely answer for any, any crystal questions because a lot of time I get crystal questions all on my timeline. Um... So if you guys have any crystal questions, now would be a great time to ask them. So, um, yeah, so I was talking a lot about the black tourmaline. Um, black tourmaline is a shamanic stone. It's a healing stone. It's a grounding stone. It helps to cultivate your higher energies. also helps to release depression, anxiety, um, suicidal thoughts. Um, it can take and transmute that energy into higher energies, helps to facilitate travel into the spirit realm, also facilitates communication between the spirit realm and the physical realm. Um, it also lifts up and removes the blockages of different um, radiation and extra low frequencies and all those different things as well. Uh, so it's all about healing transformation and transmutation so that's what black tourmaline is and um so i think you guys got all your questions out about crystals uh i'm just gonna watch it for like two seconds and see if you guys have any questions all right if you guys have any more questions you can post it on the comment section and i'll answer them in the comments you can also post your questions to my timeline or hit me up on facebook.com slash gemini creations ge facebook.com slash g-e-m-i-n-e-y-e creations or you can go to the website as well www.gemini g-e-m-i-n-e-y-e creations.com check out our consultations, ask me questions, do whatever you need to do, or you can email me t-a-e-q-u-e-e-n at hotmail.com and just let me know your crystal questions or whatever. Maybe I'll do these live sessions more often, but I just definitely had to like share on the shamanic journey with you guys. So the shamanic journey is real. Peace and blessings on your journey and your path. May you heal. May you enlighten yourself. May you um, emotionally purge any type of negative energies that you've been holding on to and i'm sending you love healing energy so much light so much transformation so much transmutational energy your way because we've all been through a lot in these past three months and it's imperative that we heal and you know so regardless of where you are uh, what your situations are i'm sending you love light and healing energy peace and blessings